What's going on, fam? It's Entertainment Movie Fan, Educated Lucky Mary, back with another Gamecock News update. Today, we are talking uh, the South Carolina offense, Marcus Statterfield. Statterfield. If I'm saying it wrong, y'all know what to do. Y'all correct me down in the comment section below. Shares our frustration about the offense. But before I go any further, if you like the video, man, do one of three things. One, subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit notification bell, notification bell, notification bell every time I drop a video, and three, share the video. Hell's out of time. Yeah, it's a little jumble today because as y'all can see, man, I'm out here. We got a football game today, man. Uh, my, my son got a football game, Fountain and Fury. If you're from the upstate area, man, show some love. So here's what I'm going to do, man. I want to talk about the South Carolina offense real quick. And I'm going to back up because <laughs> I don't want y'all to hear the football team break it down as I'm talking. But I had to get the video out here, man, before the game start. Um, I was looking at uh, – the Big Spur, and they did an article. And Marcus Statterfield understands our frustration as far as the offense. Um, and I'm quoting what he said, so I don't have the full body of work with me. It's somewhere in the internet sphere. But he was basically saying that that's why he loves South Carolina so much because of the fact that we expect more. And as you know, man, we are one of the least – productive offenses in the SEC other than Vanderbilt. And our defense this year surprisingly has improved. But the question is, when is our offense going to turn that corner? Is it Zeb Nolan? Is it Jason Brown? I think I think tomorrow I want to do a video kind of breaking down the either or. Do I think we should see Jason Brown? I think that we should give him a look. Do I think Zeb gives us the best opportunity to win from what I saw and for what I saw with Luke Doty. So you got that question and concern. And two, it's like, where's our running game? Kevin Harris led the league last year in rushing. And we had, I mean, we scored more points last year than we did this year. We're only averaging 20, about 20 points. I just said that earlier. So the question is, yes, I understand that you're, you feel our frustration, but what are we going to do to offset that? How, how can we improve our offense so that we don't have to be the lower level of the food chain. And that's something that, as I'm looking at it, I don't know. Listen, I know some of you guys got us beating the Texas A&M. Unless we get an offensive explosion, like I, I think if we get an offensive explosion, I think our defense is good enough to keep us in the game. But if we're only going to score 21 points, our defense can't give up. <laughs> we can't give up a lot of points. So, I know this year, it's been a lot of talk about fire Marcus. And the fact is that he don't know what he's doing, but I, I think we still got to give us time, right? We're at four wins. Well, you said it, buddy. We may get six. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we may get six. But here's what I need you to do, guys. Before I, I got to leave, football time is that we about to play in the game. What do you think about this, man? What does our office need to kind of take that next level, either it's through recruiting or some adjustment that we can make now that can really give us the better chance of making a bowl game and possibly getting the seventh win of the season? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please, don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another game caught news update. And yes. Football season. I love this weather, man. <laughs> but let me know what you think about the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.